It's finally happening, my friends. The Pontus off the aqueduct is being drained. But because they're just pumping it out rather than pulling the plug and letting the dramatic cascade of water go into the river below, you're just watching a ditch slowly drain away. Freeze! That got your attention. So this video was originally a lot longer because I tried to give you some local insight and show you some of the environments surrounding this area to tie in with the pollution debate over whether they could or should pull the plug and drain it into the river like they have done in years gone by. However, in a debate with somebody who didn't even want to accept objective reality as demonstrated on camera, I had a real come to light moment that I was wasting my life. And so I've got a new policy. Not my boat license, not my problem. Spend it how you want to, guys. So let's enjoy this for what it is, because my goodness me, it's, it's, it is an interesting curiosity. Let's get stuck in. Well, that was a bit weird. Now we've got to try and make that audio link up to the recorded audio of the rest of the video. So you can see I was out and about uh, all hours of the day and night, which is basically what happens when this place is open anyway. But it was interesting that there were quite a few people coming down in the later dark hours for a sneaky nose around. Didn't see any fence hoppers though, which I certainly wouldn't advise. I would say, broadly speaking, the aqueduct is pretty much what you think. There's a lot of people who will be surprised if they've never noticed through some of the grids in the towpath that there is actually water beneath it. It looks a lot more precarious here, especially when you consider how solid and heavy the towpath seems to be when you're actually walking on it. And you can see I just kept going back at various times of day and night over a two day period. You can see here there's only a couple of inches left and I was like, you know what? I've seen enough here, that's good enough for me. But you know what I think's far more interesting? The whole pumping situation where they're having to drag water up from the river below the aqueduct to put into the canal on the far side to obviously keep that water level sensible and stable. And here we have probably the most exciting thing that's happened to me for years. A big crane being down here on the far side of Team Arrow Country Park. And you can see they've got all of this exceptional heavy lumbering pump system to draw water up out of the river here. This is the River Dee passing beneath the aqueduct and flowing down towards us at this point. And once that's all in place, they then start pumping the water up and it's almost strangely anonymous where the water enters the canal. But we'll get to that in just a second. Oh, I do want to give a shout out to the Canal and River Trust here because they do send me invites every now and then to go and look at work that they're doing and say feel free to get in touch if you want to come and look at various projects we've got on and things like that. So again, I do appreciate it, although I never take the offer up. I am very much just somebody who likes to do these videos for the sake of them. I'm not trying to go official or anything too fancy, so I'm happy to just be an idiot with a camera and a selfie stick. Just look at the flow of the water here, though. We've had a lot of bad weather once again, and look how high the river is there. So, of course, to get to the far side now, because we can't just walk across the aqueduct, we've got to come all the long way around and come over the wonderful little bridge here and... Uh, it's everything about this place. Look at this. This is winter. All the trees are bare, but how fantastic is the environment and all the features still? So here we are, raining once again, but while we're focused on the little footbridge and the lift bridge there, we're missing the fact that this completely anonymous box, not particularly attractive, don't get me wrong, is where the canal is now being sustained from. So yeah, that's literally where the water is being pulled straight from the river up to. And interestingly i've got this little clip here of me going down beneath the lift bridge towards that pump station and you can see it is so sort of anonymous that again i'm focused on this i'm focused on the little foot bridge above anything other than the little concrete almost like a podium there with the little railing around it and yeah that's the Ponca Suffley being drained and all of the various elements that are going into it at the moment. We'll see what happens over the next week or so and whether they pull out any buried treasure or anything exciting. Right, my friends, I think that's us done for this video. No need to try and draw it out to get advertising money. So if you've enjoyed this, please subscribe. If you want to see more, consider checking out my Patreon. Link's in the description. I also have got a load of short books I wrote about boat life. And again, have a wonderful day.